Hi, this series is giving you introductions to the Dune verse and hopefully getting you excited about Dune lore and history so you go and watch the movie coming out this December. Unless you're watching this after December 2020, then go back and watch that movie. Okay, so this introduction to Dune video videos where I try to keep it under five minutes, but I do like to talk. Well, this video, I want to give you an introduction to the War of Assassins. Yeah, I know. Sounds super cool. Real quick, I just want to throw this out here that Dune is set thousands of years in the future, 10191, and humans have spread out throughout the known universe and are on many planets that are ruled by noble houses, or great houses, that answer to the Imperial House Carino by the start of the first book and the movie coming out this December. There are house miners as well, but they don't rule a planet. Instead, they are usually loyal to a great house and run a region or one industry on the planet. So the great houses, these planetary fiefdoms, as you would imagine, they have strife with each other. Of, of course they do. But they can't just outright attack each other. That would disturb the peace of the known universe. Atomic weapons were absolutely forbidden. And because of shield technology, using projectiles and explosives really didn't get the job done. To let the great houses feud with each other without causing harm to the everyday person, though honestly, if you go and look at it, they really did it where, okay, we understand certain noble houses need to fight with each other, but we want to be able to use the resources from your planet still and see if you nuke each other, that would make the resources on your planet not viable anymore. So here's what we're gonna do instead. Instead of nuking each other, you're gonna have the War of Assassins. In a War of Assassins, a house would challenge an enemy house by sending a pre-agreed upon number of professional killers to murder by the way of stealth. The weapons that were permitted are listed in the Book of Assassins, and the assassins could only kill the approved targets and no one else. There was even a judge that was assigned to make sure no rules were broken, and if they were, the punishment was often severe. I mean, this is so crazy. They actually had to file a formal declaration of an intent with three governing bodies of the known universe to even start this war of assassins with another house. I mean, lots of paperwork and warfare. I guess. I'm sure that's true nowadays for our own world. There's there's a lot of paperwork when you go to war. And typically great houses had a master assassin, usually a, a mentat, a person trained to act logically that would oversee the offense and defense of the house. Once the war of assassins was called, there were two outcomes. One house admitted defeat and then were stripped of titles and lands, or that house was made extinct. So, two pretty extreme outcomes. Now, why is this important for the first book and the Dune movie this December? Well, House Harkonnen and House Atreides have one of the largest on record war of assassins in the history of the known universe. Yeah, super intense. This war of assassins has major consequences in the books and the movie and is the driving force of the story. So super, super important to know about. All right, there you go. There is another intro to Dune video. I am creating more and more. Like, subscribe, and come back for more Dune, Witcher, Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire, anything sci-fi fantasy related. Sometimes horror related too, but kind of a chicken shit.